The yellow belly rock cod, also commonly known in other places in the world as the dusky cod. Beautiful, beautiful fish to catch, guys. Easy to characterize. The yellow belly, sometimes nice sunburnt orange, some paler oranges, and sometimes very, very bright yellow. Very spiny fish, extremely sharp gill plates. So when handling this fish, be super careful, guys. That will slice you like a razor blade. But other than that, awesome fish to catch. So a rig I'd use for yellow belly, listen, depending, we got a lot of juvenile yellow bellies up the side when the conditions are right, so I'd really go down a downscale. I'll start with a 6 circle look, but you can go right up to an 8 And very simple trace, I'll use a 0.8 hook snoot to a swivel to either a running or fixed uh, sinker. I pretty much don't really go target yellow bellies, we pretty much fishing for other species and yellow bellies being a bycatch. Baits of choice, not too, too fussy, but also prefer the fleshy baits. I find that stripy fillet works very well from them. Some fresh shad fillet works very well from them. Catfish leg, beautiful. But for today, we're gonna just do a little squid bait you can use for them. Uh, fish have crazy big mouths. Uh, they're even known to hit live bait and lures. I know we've caught them in the river before where the water is nice and warm. So quick little bait for them, some nice fresh squid. So this knife was super sharp until I had to cut that rock bait. And I cut into sandstone earlier. What I'm using, just cut one. Two tentacles. Three, four tentacles. So the guy's mouth has really gone blunt. Got all my tentacles perfectly separated. And what I'll do is I'll start building from there. One tentacle on. Two tentacles on, followed by number three and four. It's a super simple bait. It's nice for the youngsters to build, not too complicated at all. Get them all to the base of the hook. So you try to use a thicker cotton if you can. Stuff's going everywhere. Don't you love it when cotton does that? Get that piece out of the way. So I've got a little friendly fly coming to join us here. We've, uh, this is the fifth bait video we've done in a row now. So this room is getting a bit uh, baity and we had some really heat assessment rock bait going. So excuse my little friend, he just, he wants to be famous. I'll do secure the bottom. Good couple of turns. As I've done with my other baits, I'll invert the bait. And really go to town on the top to stop it snapping off the hook. One turn, secure the bait. And that's how simple it is, guys. That's a bait art. I know there's some yellow billies around. That's something art but out. Almost looks like a lure. They love a bit of movement in the water. You could use this bait for cob and stuff as well, but beautiful, beautiful little bait to use if you, there are some yellow billies going around. Quite territorial fish. They like to stick to their spot in the rocks, they'll have a little cave, a little hideaway. So normally, a lot of the times when they do come out, they hit your bait and they pull you straight into there, it feels like you're hooked up. What they're doing is they're getting inside there, they're jamming the gill plates out, holding themselves in the rocks, turning all these funny angles, and really getting themselves uh, stuck in there with a bit of pressure and a bit of patience. They do normally pull out. When you're fighting, they've got this, uh, we call them checkers packet fish, they've got this tendency to open their mouths, they really cause some like drag through the water, not a crazy amount of head shakes unless you get a bigger fish where it's actually got some power to nod its head. Best time once again, early morning, late afternoon, clean, clean water. And the warmer the water, the better. We find on the side, water 20 degrees plus, really produce a lot of rock odds when the water is really clean. 
but you can catch them in colder water than that. But those are the times that we seem to be getting the most uh, rock cards out. Anyway, guys, go out yourself, catch yourself a rock card. Uh, yeah, and enjoy. Beautiful fish to catch, beautiful to look at, takes a beautiful picture. You get some beautiful colors and stuff out of your picture. Keep it simple, either that or a nice fleshy bait, and you will get a bite in the right conditions. Anyway, guys, we'll see you all soon. Tight lines and screaming reels.